North Queensland's Mackenzie Wheel failed to challenge a hip vessel struggle that Jamie Soward says. It was the worst that Jamie Soward has ever seen. Wheel. A suspicious MCL injury ready to kidnap rest of the season. Young Dragons forward Alexis Tonade Sin Bin was sent to Sin Bin for a shocking struggle. Soward thought that it should be a flat reference and a four-game ban. But Cowboys took case to judiciary to reduce third-class dangerous contact fee from two matches. However, his charm failed. Wheel has now rubbed for three games to see that NQ's season is missing the rest of the season. Alexis Tania will not play again this season after being a victim of the struggle to leave an ugly hip. This is probably the worst hip drop I have ever seen in men or women. Sun said Soward's 4,816 win. Hip drop struggles were a scourge in the women's game this season. Sarah Tagatuki and Anessa Biddle were suspended for illegal action a week before Wheel's struggle. Tani I became one of Soward's breaking players and young staff. And youth is in tears following bad contact that ends season. Sarah Tagatuki was suspended in sixth round for the struggle for hip. We received an email about the struggle for hip Damla. He 18 years old and told me. I'm I was really scared because I could feel it was, he turned the best forward in Tep. So hearing it shocking. He wanted to play the second half. But I am very cautious with those young girls. We are in worst. We suspect MCL injury. Potentially there is only two games left and looking at an eight-week injury. So Soward thinks that the punishment should be more violent and that Kennedy Charrington is on a four-game ban for a spear struggle, which is the longest time in NRLW history. Jamie Soward wants NRL send examples of more relevant hip drop struggle to female players teach NRL's techniques. There are 10 in box. But we lost a player in the rest of game, he said. It was suspended for two weeks. But we lost a player for eight weeks. Soward emphasized that it wasn't a personal thing against Wheel. And he said he had to do more about how to avoid dangers of the game and ball carriers in vulnerable positions. Girls don't have enough time to apply everything when it comes to out-of-season education, he said. We need hip drop samples from women's game. We don't need videos of the struggles of men. We've got a video of the struggles of Tyrell Fumaono and Tarek Sims. But girls need to see that they're doing it. We need to spend referee who is assigned by saying what they were looking for in the session once. A week because been playing rugby league since I was four years old. And have 35 years of information. But some of these girls never played magnificent athletes. Some learn how deal with it. So when they get tired, as assumed that they hear from their coaches who tell them to take them the ground.